In this episode, I'm going to give you an epic tip that's going to make sure your first impressions never suck. Make sure to stick around to the end because there's a little bonus there. There's a little bonus I made just for you. So this tip is going to be basic. I'm going to say it, and you're going to go, oh, come on, Sajra. We heard this one before. Why are you telling us the same shit? But it's actually probably one of the most important things. It's eye contact, guys. It's eye contact. <laughs> the amount of times I've seen men come up to amazing women, and they're, they're, they start talking. They're like, hey, how's it going? They're looking at her shoulder, which isn't good, because maybe they're, she thinks you're looking at her titties. Or they'll look at her for a second. They'll be like, hey, how's it going? And then they'll just look away. I'm like, who's up there? Who's up? There's no one up there. Look her in the face. Look her in the face. And I know, I know, it's intimidating, guys, when a woman's really, really beautiful. You don't want to just keep, you know, it, it, it's amazing because you're blown away by her beauty. And you're just kinda, you, you kind of want to do this, right? You kind of want to do this. Uh, and you just want to you just want to check out. Oh, my God, she's so beautiful. And the square roots of all the negative numbers. So I is an imaginary number. It doesn't. Ah, and you're going into your little fantasy land of you and making babies with and all this kind of stuff. Really exist. If I equals the square root of negative one, then I squared equals negative one. Listen, fantasize at home. That's not the time. It's not the time. When you're with a woman, right, you got to be looking her in the eyes. This is this is like the number one indicator that a guy actually isn't confident with himself is he's, he's unable to maintain eye contact. It's such a really basic thing, but th this is actually really fascinating, and I want to really make this point. If you read uh, one of my favorite books, Power Versus Force, which is in my recommended book reading list, if you click on the blog on infinitemansummit.com, it's all there. I'll put it in the link. He talks about how when you have a high level of, of consciousness and presence, you are able to maintain eye contact. In fact, you like looking at people in the eyes and connecting with them in that way. It's beautiful. You can just stare at someone in the eyes for like half an hour. No problem. But when you have a lower level of consciousness, you're actually, you don't feel that love and connection between beings, right? You're actually, you're more based in fear and shame and guilt. And, you know, those lower levels, basically, you don't feel comfortable connecting with people authentically. So you'll, and you'll see this sometimes, uh, even uh, shows that portray like drug dealers and stuff, they'll have that behavior. They'll, they'll be kind of looking up and they'll be looking down and so that they can't really maintain the eye contact. And that's actually true. If you're if you if you're up to no good and you feel guilt and shame and fear and and you're out there like robbing people and doing messed up stuff like that, you feel guilty looking at people in the eye because you know you're ultimately out to screw them over or you're out to screw over other people just like them. So the number one thing intuitively that women know, if you cannot maintain eye contact with them, you are not a high value individual. You're not at a high level of consciousness. You don't fully love and accept and trust yourself because you don't feel comfortable connecting authentically with someone else. Why is that? They don't want to know, and they don't want to know you. So when you start a conversation, it's very, very simple. Don't even start talking until you have eye contact. And sometimes I'll even, I'll even, I'll wave at somebody, or I'll do a little touch on the elbow or something, or I'll just get right in front of them and kind of go, hey. Hi. Hi. Don't panic. I'm not crazy. And when they look at me, then I'll say, hi. Don't panic. I'm not a robber. But you, you look amazing. What's your name? Or whatever thing I'm going to say. But it's all about the eye contact. And I'll pretty much maintain that eye contact for the entire conversation. And I'll tell you, as I've been waking up and getting more present and more accepting of who I am and all that, my eye contact's gotten better. And I've been getting more and more eye contact compliments from women. It's amazing. They really, really notice. And so it's all about that. And eye contact is pretty much the same as presence. There's a little bit more to it. And I might do a separate video just about presence. But really, eye contact is the number one way to show that you're truly present and listening and you're really, really here with the, with the woman. Because often when you think about stuff, when you, when you really think about it, well, think about that last time you had a really crazy party. What happens? You, you, you kind of go up here. You know, you kind of go up here, you go over here, and you start thinking about stuff. So when you're really making eye contact, they know that you're really, really here with them right now. And you've got that internal confidence, right, and that value where you're comfortable connecting with them authentically. So this is a practice, and you can practice this with anybody. So this is your homework. Every single person you meet that you have a conversation with, see if you can have the conversation and not look away from them even once. And just, just keep track. How many times during a conversation do you look away? Right? And you'd be amazed. You might, you might count and go, oh, wow, four times, five times, six times. But if you can get through a several-minute conversation and you never looked away from their eyeballs once, that's a really, really good start. And people are going to feel it, I promise you. All right. That's it for the week. I've made a little bonus guide on some little exercises you can do that are going to help you with this that go a little bit further. If you're interested, it's in the links below. I love you. Please link this video into your 
uh, mailbox and send the email out to five of your best friends telling them that you should watch this video. It's awesome, and it's going to help you connect with beautiful ladies, or you can just like it. But listen, if you can email it out, I'd really, I'd really appreciate it. And that's it. I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao. I just got back from my talk with Sasha, and I'm feeling pretty incredible. Uh, feeling pretty fucking invincible. I'm just thinking, well, fuck, if this guy can make me feel like this, then he must be really, really amazing with anyone he really spends much more time with.